it's kind of quiet in here right now. That's pretty cool. And uh, a pie is pretty cool too. It's work with a view for Chris Unger and the summertime job he's doing. I've broken this project down to three parts. Is essential for winter operations at Pittsburgh International Airport, the sand dome. We apply sand to the airfield for traction. Salt causes too much damage to the aircraft, the aircraft engines and the parts with the aircraft. So it's not permitted on any airfield. So we have to use what's permitted by the FAA. Upgrades on the system in the sand dome started in July. But before that could happen, crews had to unload all the sand to make room for this piece of heavy equipment. The sand itself comes all the way up to right below these heaters. That's how much sand is in here. The FAA requires sand to be kept warm and dried before it goes on the airfield. The sand's got to be kept indoors. It's a very fine sand. It's a, one of their requirements from the FAA. Uh, and also when you go out to apply it, you don't want it to clump up on the machines. Part of the sand dome upgrade was installing LED lights, which helped save on electricity. The other two parts covered the exhaust fan and the heating system. The exhaust fan, which is very important because once the machines come in here and start loading sand, this becomes very dusty in here. So there's all kinds of little flow sensors to tell you as everything's moving. So everything is working efficient and properly. The sand dome at Pitt holds more than 1,000 tons of sand. When the upgrade to the sand dome finished, all the sand was brought back in, one load at a time. And the next time it comes out of here, it means winter has arrived.